Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we will see how to change the replication factor if you add or decommission the worker node. So let's, uh, in last session, we added two, uh, two extra worker nodes. So that, that's the reason currently we have the three nodes in current environment. So in order to update the replication factor, we have to go to the advanced section of the HDFS services HDFS advanced section there is a general attribute uh, the attribute name is general and the property inside the uh, general attribute is nothing but replication factor so initially it was having the three value I just turn on to the uh, it was initially having the one value I just turn on it is as a three because this value should not exceed the number of nodes in this current environment. So how can we verify this? In order to verify, go to the uh, command prompt, use the sudo to hdfs. So once we log in with the super user, we can give the command hdfs fsck and it will give us a detail. So it is give the general command. So we can see uh, some details which are how to use this command. Use the exit command. Now we are at the root level. Let's try out this command. HDFS DFS minus ls. It will list the all the files. And we can see the host is having the replication factor as a 3 other password and the test data which we created in the last session has the replication fast replication factor as a 3 so we have to revert back the host uh, replication factor so but before that let's have a look on this host file hdfs fsck user root host so if you see the details the uh, default replication factor becomes 3 which is we change in the uh, in the ambari blocks are 1 and the over replicated block 0 so these are the and minimally replicated block 1 that is 100% it is going to use 100% so we need to update this so how can you update in order to update we have to give the command hdfs dfs if you remember the command it is set rep that is replica w what value we are going to set 3 and the on which folder we want to use the replication so we are going to replicate this level so replication factor is set to the root level waiting for that to take it take effect now if we do the hdfs ls hdfs dfs minus ls it will give us the replica replication factor as a 3 you can see here it is 3 now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to update a local file called as a networks so let's do that hdfs dfs put etc network where we are going to put we are going to put into the user directory So by now that directory must have put in this location so let's do the df uh, list function could not find the local class ds okay dfs it should be hmm it's little typo looks like so it should complete now so we are successfully done with this command we can check the whether it is copied correctly or not by using hdfs dfs 
minus ls so etc network is available with replication replication factor is a 3 now if we use this command hdfs d uh, fsck then the user root networks let's see what it is okay it's wrong it is wrong file networks so let's see what details we will get so you can see the default replication factor is 3 number of data nodes are 3 number of rack is 1 so all these details are available for that particular data node let's run one of the next command hdfs fsck user root group files which we already did in previous tutorials we will do again to see how the changes looks So again it is giving that command that is correct data node blocks belong to the allocation data nodes now next thing we have to do is rebalancing because we made the changes in the data nodes in the umbare so we have to balance our storage how to do the rebalancing in order to do the rebalancing we have to go to the hdfs storage okay means we have to go to the hdfs so we are at the same level once we go there there is a name node ui let's go there and here the um, what are the changes we made in the name nodes we can see all those nodes are reflected so the last contacted twice and this is the memory it is using the non dfs use remaining memory block how many blocks each have so those details we can see even if we can use the uh, command line tool to get this report using hdfs dfs admin hyphen report if you fire that command we will get the report so let's go back and rebalance it so inside this service actions are there you can see the stop restart all or uh, restart data node we can have the move name node move s name enable name node ha run service check turn on maintenance mode rebalance hdfs and download client config so out of that so rebalance hdfs that will balance the load on the each node so let's click on that so if the new node is added so the data will be moved that is the 10 percent of the other blocks so this is by default value come if you want to change we can change we will not change we will keep it as, as it is and we will say start so this will start the rebalancing of the hdfs we can check once the uh, this is done uh, we can conclude that we are able to do the uh, change the actually we are able to change the replication factor we can able to change the using the ambari tool as well as using the unix uh, sorry using the command line tool once it is done we fired the rebalancing option to balance the hdfs node by 10 percent i think this is the for the today's tutorial if you have any questions about hadoop you can mention in the video below thank you for watching my video do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about hadoop thank you and have a nice time